Hey guys, hope you're well. It's Gricey here. Um, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Pikachu V Box. Um, I've just only really got into Pokemon collecting, um, so it should be a good box to try. Uh, bought it from a local Argos store. Uh, it cost around about twenty pound, um, and you don't get to choose which one you want. Um, they just randomly give you. Um, so just from looking at the box, um, you get a giant Pikachu V card. Uh, you get the actual real Pikachu V card as well. Um, I'm not too sure how to pronounce that yet, uh, but I'm sure we'll get there along the series. Um, and then you get four booster packs as well. Um, so if we just turn the box over, um, have a light blast with Pokemon V, full of Electrine Spirit, Pikachu V enters the battlefield with the Tennessee to take on even the mightiest of Pokemon. This determined Pokemon V is ready to join the deck as a Voyal promo card. A spooky little... I'm, I'm going to try and pronounce it. It's Mimiyuki. Offers backup with a Voyal card of its own. You will also find an oversized version of Pikachu V, plus even more cards in the Pokemon card trading game booster packs. Um, so, it's a, again, you can see on the back it says Voyal promo card and fe featuring P Pikachu V. Um, the Pokemon that I cannot name. Um, an oversized card for featuring Pikachu, uh, four packs and a code for the car trading game online um, and just from looking from the side to the boxes so it looks all good condition um, looks good so let's try and open this up without jump up oh, we can't open it up without damaging it we've just got to try and break the seal so if we just put it out so it's on a plastic tray And let's just remove the top plastic tray. Oh, I think the Pokemon cards actually come with it. So let's have a quick look at the promo ones first. I think they just pop out. Yep, they just simply pop out. So let's get Pikachu as well. Oh, there you go. There's the code if anyone would like it. Um, I'll drop the... I dropped the Pokemon, the Pikachu. So as you can see, we've got Pikachu, Pikachu V. It's a real nice card. It's very shiny. Um, quality of it is decent. It'd be decent for any collector. Don't think it's worth too much because it's available in all of these packs. Um, as he drops it. Uh, but a really nice Pokemon card. Never had a doubt. Let's put these to one side. And then we've got the other one. Which is hollow. Um, same again, I can't pronounce his name. Um, but it looks like a very decent Pokemon, very nice card. Um, so, yeah, so we'll put that to one side. And then we take out the massive card. Uh, it feels actually quite flimsy, to be fair, just by feeling it straight away. But it's just a massive card. Just uh, Same again, I don't think it has much of a miniature value. I think it's just more for collecting or displaying. Uh, but yeah, really flimsy. You feel like you could quite easily bend that without meaning to. Um, and just looking at the original one, it's just exactly the same as well. So that's quite nice. Um, and then we've got the four packs. So we've got Brilliant Stars, we've got Fusion Strike, Brilliant Stars, and Fusion Strike again. Um, so if we open these, so I'm going to go for the... Fusion Strike to start off with. Um, I'm never too good at opening these, to be fair. Uh, oh, crikey. I'm not so worried about the actual pack, keeping maintaining the pack. Um, as long as we can just get in. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm having an absolute nightmare. Right, let's try it this way. Right. So now that we're in. So we've got a white trainer card. So same again. Move three to the front, I think it is. So turn it over. We've got Primeape. Simipore. Bug Catcher. The promo card, if anyone would like that one. We've got Mario. Halip tile. We've got a Wooloo. Gossifleur. 
Mudkip. Simiper. Oh, it's actually hollow as well. It's very nice. Huntail. And an energy. So I did actually do that pack wrong. I think it's two to the front. Um, well, three to the front, including the boost, including the code. So let's open a pack of brilliant stars now. Um, so let's have a quick look. So we go one, two. Move that to the front. So let's see what we get. So we've got a parry. We've got a clang. We've got the promo code again. If anyone would like that. We've got a trap inch. We've got Pimplup, Shroomish, Perlian, Duskull, Reverse Hollow Grimer, a Wormadam, an Energy, and a Star Avia. So we've not really got anything nice out of these packs so far. I've definitely I've definitely messed up the uh, the card arrangements at the back. So I don't know if to carry on try and do that and try and work out what it should be. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's free to the front. I don't know if I just had a, like a duplicate card at the front or something where I had more than one card. So same again. Oh, this one's black. So one. Two, three, three to the front. We've got Farewell Bell. We've got a Lopany. A Hiriyuma. I don't know if I pronounced that right either. We've got another card for the online game, if, any, if anyone would like that. We've got a Smeagol. We've got a Quillfish. Tranamo. We've got a Galarian Mouth, Meowth. A Grossifleur, a Galarian Cursola, ooh, and then we've got a Cinderance, which looks very, very nice. Looks like a very nice card. Just have a quick look at the card itself, Let's see if it's in a good condition. Looks nice, looks extremely good. So that's Cinderance. So we'll put those to one side with the Pikachu V. And then of course we have a Psychic Energy. So let's get on to the last pack, which same again is Brilliant Stars. Let's see how this one's going to do. Oh, this one was a lot easier to open. So same again, one, one, two, three, three to the front. We've got Fragzir, Cafe Master, Gabite, another primary code for the online if anyone would like that. Chimeco. Ooh, we've got Chimchar, which is extremely nice. One of the Gen 4 starters. Extremely nice. Um, he will go with my Turtwig in my collection. Uh, Mincino, I, I think that's hoping that's up. Baltoy, Snorrent, Fresh Water, oh, and then we've got a, the Pokemon that I cannot name but in VMAX form, so where was he earlier, so, so there we go, so that's the base one, well the hollow one, and then we've got the VMAX version which is extremely nice, ominous numbers, that's very nice, very nice, and then we've got a, um, dark energy type as well. So yeah, so just looking at those cards, just extremely nice. Look at the, look at the artwork, it's stunning. And same again, condition wise, I think it's just got like a little bit of like a nick at the bottom corner. Um, but yeah, it looks okay. I think there's a bit of white showing on the card there. It looks quite nice. I probably won't get any of these graded, to be fair. Um, so let's just quickly put this in a, uh, a sleeve, if I can. So there's Pokemon that we cannot name. We ended we ended up getting a VMAX version. We managed to get the V card of Cinderance as well. 
which is extremely nice. Extremely nice. We've also got the Primo Pikachu as well, which is the V version. If I can just grab another, what do you call it? Which is extremely good. Nice little Primo. I will put another sleeve on the Pokemon that cannot be named. Um, so yeah, so just going back through just in case if I've missed anything. Let's have a quick look. Um, Primate. Let's have a quick look. See if there's anything that I like. Play the game cards again. Cafe Master, Fracture, Energy. Casola, we'll put him in a sleeve. Uh, the Meowth. I quite like the Smeagol. I, I really do like the artwork on that, on Smeagol. I can remember in uh, Black and Moon, he was like the ultimate um, shiny card. Uh, no, the ultimate Pokemon to try and shiny hunt. So I might put him in just because uh, of memories. Then we've got Lot Bunny, and that's got Rapid Strike on it. Don't know if that's any good. Uh, we've got Reverse Hollow Grimer. And then, oh, I'm also missing a Reverse Hollow at the front on Fresh Water, which I completely forgot about. Duskull, Shroomish, Pimplup, um, again another starter, Huntel, another Reverse Hollow, Bugcatcher, so yeah, so they're all the Reverse Hollows that we got out of the four packs that came in the uh, VMAX box, in the Pikachu VMAX box, so let's just same again, just load these up. Doesn't take too long. But same again, guys. I'm relatively new to Pokemon collecting, um, so of course I've probably pronounced names wrong or doing stuff wrong. So if if you see that I'm doing anything wrong, please let me know in the comments, um, and I will try my best to correct those. Um, and also, if you could like, like, and uh, subscribe, that'd be greatly appreciated as I start out on this journey. So we're putting in the Casola here. So yeah, so these are the Pokemon that we got, the decent Pokemon that I think are good. Uh, well, at least like the rares. Um, so yeah, so so same again. The box itself was twenty pound um, for the Pikachu V box. Do I think it's worth it? I think as a collector, especially if you love Pikachu, especially this card on its own. If you I imagine you could probably buy on eBay for about three or four pound. If you just specifically wanted this giant card. Um, but same again, it's a collector's piece and it's pretty cool. I mean, it is pretty... I mean, that's like pack fresh and it's pretty it's pretty bent and it's really flimsy as you can see as I'm folding it there. But but as for the pack itself, I mean, you get four, you get four booster packs, which in the UK are £4 each anyway. So that's um, £16. And then the £4 extra and you get the... The Pokemon that cannot be named, the Pikachu V, and the giant Pokemon, and the giant Pikachu card. So, all in all, I don't think it's too bad of a value, to be fair. Um, if you can try and find it on the, like a deal or something from Argos or Smith's Toys or something like that, I imagine it will uh, it will be an absolute bargain. But as for the packs, we've got some decent cards. I will find out how much they are, and I'll write it up in my review. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Um, There'll be more of these in the future, so please like and subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Ciao.